Okay, I'm gonna start the inspection of my bus with the lights. I'm gonna turn it on, two clicks to the right, checking that my bus is in neutral and the parking brake is set. My headlights are on, my high beams are on, my left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, and my clearance lights are amber in color. Now for the rear of the vehicle. My tail lights are on, my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my brake lights, my four-way flashers, and the clearance lights are red in color. Now I'm going to do the uh, air governor cutoff check. I'm going to start my bus. And watch the air pressure. The air pressure should build until the air governor cuts in at 120 PSI. That was the air governor. It cut it in 120 PSI. It's working properly. Uh, now I'm going to perform an air leak check. I'm going to turn the bus off. Wait for it to turn all the way off. Then two clicks to the right. I'll release the parking brake, noting that the bus is still in neutral. Now I will depress the service brake and hold it for one minute, during which time I will lose no more than three uh, PSI for a single vehicle. Starting now at 110 PSI. I will hold it for one minute. It's been just over a minute. I lost no PSI. There are no leaks. All right, uh, there are no air leaks, so now I'm going to do a uh, test the low air warning system by pumping the brakes to lower the air pressure. The low air warning system should sound at 60 PSI or above. <laughs> There, the lower warning system has sounded at 85 PSI. It's working properly. I will now continue to fan the brakes to lower the air pressure to test the parking brake. The parking brake should engage at approximately 40 PSI. The parking brake engaged at 60 PSI. It's working properly. So now I'm going to do a safety start. So I turn my bus off. 
The parking brake is set. The bus is in neutral. The anti-brake lock light comes on and goes off again. Uh, I'm assured of my bus while I wait for the air pressure to build. I'll note that my seat belt is uh, securely fastened. It's securely mounted, properly adjusted with no rips, cracks, or frays. All right, I'm going to check my uh, dash lights to make certain that they all work. Check my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my high beams, and my four way flashers. Go for it. All right, now I'm gonna do a parking brake check, uh, making sure that my parking brake is set and the bus is in neutral. I'm gonna put the bus into low gear and pull forward with the parking brake engaged. I did not move. Uh, the parking brake is working properly. I'm gonna put the bus back into neutral. Uh, now I'm going to do a service brake check. I'm going to release the parking brake, put my bus into drive. Now I will pull forward gently, then depress the service brake. It should stop the bus completely and pull neither to the left nor to the right. There, my bus stopped. I pulled neither to the left nor to the right. My service brakes are working properly. I put the bus back into neutral and engage the parking brake. Now I turn my attention to the gauges, noting that the uh, oil uh, pressure gauge is building pressure. It's working properly and there are no warning lights. The water temperature is building to operational limits. It's working properly and there are no warning lights. The voltmeter is holding a charge. It's showing my bus in proper operational limits and there are no warning lights. All right, I will check the heater and defroster. Turning the uh, defroster on, that's working properly. And pulling out, checking the heater, that's working properly. Now, check my mirrors, they are clean, not damaged and properly adjusted. The windshield is likewise clean, free of damage or obstructions or illegal stickers. And the windshield wipers are securely mounted. They are not damaged. They operate smoothly and the uh, windshield wiper fluid deploys properly. And my horn sounds. Alright, now I'm going to test my ramp. I'm going to open the door and heal the bus. I will deploy the ramp. Make sure the power's on. I will deploy the ramp, noting as I do that it is not leaking. There are no damaged or missing parts and it's not excessively worn. Now I will stow the ramp, noting that it stows smoothly and latches securely and completely. I'll then raise the bus back up. I hate these seatbelts. I know. Alright. Alright, now I'm ready to test my doors. I note that they open and close smoothly and that the step lights are working both inside and outside of my bus. The hinges of the door are in, uh, not damaged and securely mounted. The seal is intact and not damaged. The doors are clean and free of obstructions or damage. The handrails are mounted securely with the loose or missing nuts and bolts. And the treads of the entryway 
are not excessively worn or loose. And the entryway is clear. And the entryway is clear. Now I'll turn my attention from the doors to the aisle bay. It's clear and free of any obstructions. My emergency equipment. The fire extinguisher is securely mounted. It's properly charged with the proper documentation. Here are my three reflective triangles. There are no spare fuses because this bus runs on a circuit breaker system. The emergency exits are the emergency air release in the doors, the emergency windows, and a hatch in the roof. The door works by breaking the glass, turning the red handle to release the uh, air pressure on the doors and pushing out. The windows work by pulling down on the red handle, pushing out firmly to release that. It also latches securely. The, uh, the hatch works by uh, pulling on the black tab out and pushing up. Now the seats are securely mounted to the floor of the bus. They are not cracked or damaged in any way. And the seat cushions are likewise securely mounted to the seat frames and are not ripped or frayed. All right, that concludes the internal inspection of the bus. I will grab my key for outside. A three point dismount, and as I exit the bus, I note that uh, all of my lights and reflectors are the correct color, none are damaged or missing. I note also that the bus is sitting level both front and rear. I listen for any air leaks and check under the bus for any fluid leaks. All right, for the tire, the tire tread is evenly worn. There are no cuts or separations, and the tread is at least uh, 4 30 seconds of an inch deep. The tire walls are free of abrasion, bumps, or cuts, and I would check the tire inflation here. The tire rims are free of dents, cracks, or bands. There are no uh, welding repairs. The valve cap and stem are not damaged, broken, or missing. The hub and axle seal is not leaking, and if there were a sight glass, I could check the lubricant level there. None of the lug nuts are missing, nor are any of the bolt holes cracked or distorted. None of the lug nuts are loose, as evidenced by rust trails or shiny threads. Moving inside the bus, the brake drums are free of cracks, dents, or holes. Uh, there are no loose or missing nuts or bolts, and it's free of contaminants such as debris, oil, and grease. The brake linings are not excessively worn excessively thin. They are not broken or cracked, and are likewise free of contaminants such as debris, oil, and grease. The uh, brake hoses and lines are securely mounted. They are not bulging, cut, cracked, or frayed. They are not touching or rubbing on any other components. They are not leaking and they can deliver air or hydraulic fluid to the proper systems. The brake chamber is not cracked or dented. It's securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts or bolts or clamps, and it is not leaking. The push rod and slack adjusters are not bent or broken. There are no loose or missing parts or pieces, and the push rod does not move more than one inch when pulled by hand with the brakes released. Now moving to the suspension system. The airbags are not damaged or leaking. The airbag mounting bolts and brackets are securely mounted and are not damaged. There are no missing, broken, cracked, or shifted leaf springs. Uh, the torque arms and torsion bars and other suspension components are securely mounted and not damaged. There are no uh, cracked or broken spring hammers, no damaged or missing uh, bushings. There are no loose or missing bolts or U-bolts, and all of the mounting components are securely mounted. The shock absorbers are securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts, and they are not leaking. 
mud flaps are likewise securely mounted and not damaged. Now moving from the front axle of the bus, I'll move along the bus uh, to the uh, members of the frame. There are no bends, uh, cracks, or broken welds in the longitudinal members, and no bent, cracked, loose, or missing cross members. The fuel systems, the fuel tank and cap are securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. They are not leaking. Moving to the rear axle, the uh, tread is at least 2 seconds of an inch deep. Uh, the duals are not touching, nor is there any debris lodged between them. In all other respects, I would check this rear tire and axle as I check the front uh, tire and axle, including the brake drums, the brake uh, the, I'm sorry, the tires, the rims, the hub and axle seal, the lug nuts, the brake drums, brake hoses and lines, the uh, brake chamber, the slack adjuster and push rod, the airbag, airbags, the airbag mounting bolts and brackets, the leaf springs, the spring hangers, the bushings, the U-bolts, uh, the torque arms and torsion bars, the uh, shock absorbers, and the mud flaps. Move to the baggage compartment, which I'll note is not damaged, and which properly. The power steering reservoir is here with the dipstick there where I could check the levels of the power steering fluid. They are in proper operational limits. And none of the power steering hoses are bulging, cut, cracked, or frayed, leaking, and they're not touching or rubbing on any other components. I'll note that the compartment door closes properly and fastens securely. Okay, uh, for the lights on the back of the bus, the uh, clearance lights are red as well as the tail lights, the left and right turret signals, the four-way four flashers, and uh, brake lights are all clean. They're not missing or broken, and they're the proper color for their function. For the back of the bus, I will look for puddles on the ground or for dripping fluids on the underside of the engine or transmission. I will check all the hoses in the engine compartment and note that none of them are bulging, cut, cracked, or frayed. They are not damaged. Uh, they are not rubbing or touching on any other components and they are not leaking. The coolant level, I would check here. Uh, it's in the proper operational limits, and the cap is secure, not damaged, not leaking. The exhaust system is securely mounted and tightly connected. There are no severe dense cracks or holes, and there are no sign of exhaust leaks such as rust or carbon soot. The oil level, I would check here on the dipstick. It's in the proper operational ranges. The water pump is located here. It is securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. It is not damaged. It's working properly. It's driven by a belt that does not deflect, that is not cut, cracked, ripped, cut, cracked, or frayed, and does not deflect more than one half to three quarters of an inch when pressed in the middle by hand. The alternator is here. It is securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. It is not damaged. 
there are no exposed blackened or blackened or broken wires. It is working properly. It's driven by a belt that is not cut, cracked, or frayed, and does not deflect more than one half to three quarters of an inch when pressed in the middle by hand. The air compressor is here. It is securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. It is not damaged. It is not leaking, and it's working properly. It's driven by a gear. Underneath the air compressor is the power steering pump. It is securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. It is not damaged. It is not leaking. It's working properly. It is likewise driven by a gear. The drive shaft is located down in there, and it is not bent, cracked, or twisted. The universal joint is secure, and there are no foreign objects or debris in it. All right, that's it for the engine compartment. Now I'll move to the left side of the bus. Uh, as I move to this side of the bus, I note that all my reflectors are the lights and reflectors are the proper color and none are damaged or missing. For this uh, rear tire and axle, I would check it in every respect as I check the other tires and axles. And for this front tire and axle, I would check it in all respects as I check the other tires and axles. The steering box located in here is securely mounted with no loose or missing nuts and bolt, bolts or cotter keys. It is not leaking. The steering hoses are not bulging, cut, cracked or frayed, uh, rubbing or touching on any other components and they are not leaking. The steering linkage, the link arms and rods are not excessively worn or broken and uh, the uh, joints and sockets are not excessively worn or loose and there are no loose or missing nuts or bolts or cotter keys. To the front of the bus the uh, mirror brackets are securely mounted. They're not damaged with no loose or missing nuts and bolts. The mirrors themselves are clean and properly adjusted with no cracks or other damage that would impair vision. That's true of this left or this to this left bracket and also of this right bracket. Okay for the lights on the front of the bus the clearance lights on the front and side are amber in color. The headlights, left and right turn signals and four-way flashers are clean, not missing or broken, and they are the proper color for their function. Uh, windshield wipers are securely mounted with the looser missing nuts and bolts. They are not damaged and they operate smoothly and properly. This concludes my inspection of the bus.